one solution to the given equation can be written as 1 plus the square root of k, where k is a constant. What is the value of k? Okay, so we're given this quadratic here, and we need to find the solutions so that we can find the value of k. So we can solve this by using the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula states that x is equal to negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where this is for a quadratic of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So here a is going to be a 1, since the coefficient of x squared is just 1. b is going to be negative 2, and c is going to be negative 9. Okay, so let's plug that into our formula. So negative b is going to be negative negative 2, so that's just 2, plus minus square root of b squared, so negative 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, and c, which is negative 9. All that square rooted over 2a, so a is 1, so the denominator is just 2. Okay, let's simplify this down. So we'll get x equals 2 plus or minus, so 4 minus 4 times 9. We don't need to multiply by the 1 since that doesn't change anything. So 4, negative 4 times negative 9 is equal to positive 36. And all of that will be over 2. Okay, so let's simplify this square root down. So we'll still have the 2 plus minus. So this is the square root of 40 over 2. And we know that 40 is equal to 4 times 10, right? So 40 equals 4 times 10. Here, let me write that better. So this is equal to 4 times 10. And we know that the square root of 4 is just 2, so we can take that outside. So x equals 2 plus or minus 2 times 10. So we split the 40 into 4 times 10, and the square root of 4 times 10 is just equal to 2 times the square root of 10. So all of that will be over 2. And then one final step is just we can just divide these coefficients. So x will equal 1 plus or minus the square root of 10. So we just divided 2 by 2 to get 1, and this 2 by 2 to get 1 as well. So now we have our solution written in the form of 1 plus square root of k. So we'll just use the positive solution, so x equals 1 plus square root of 10. There's a negative solution, but the positive solution is the one that's in this form. So we have the 1 and the plus sign and the square root of some constant. So we can easily see that k here is 10, since k is the constant being square rooted. So that means k is equal to 10. So the answer choice that is correct is B.